Caden Ermston Bancroft was just 20 months old when he needed treatment at Royal Manchester Children's Hospital, but the coroner was told it kept being put off. He eventually died with his family around him as his grandmother read Mr. Man's stories. Caden's illness was only discovered when he fell out of bed and banged his face in April 2016. He was taken to Stepping Hill Hospital, where it was discovered that part of his bowel had burst through the hole in his diaphragm. He was taken to our MCH for urgent surgery, but after three days he went into cardiac arrest and died soon after. An inquest was told that there were no beds on the children's high dependency unit with a consultant telling Manchester Coroner's Court the hospital was extremely busy. His grandmother Julie Rollins was in court with his mum Shannon Bancroft. MRS Rollins said, We thought they were ready to do it. When we arrived, we were put in a room, and the F1s were saying a car crash victim had come in. By Wednesday, Caden was still in pain, so I rang Stepping Hill saying they had still not done it. She added, it was just put off day by day. His mother Shannon Bancroft, in a statement, read out in court, described the signs of pain and discomfort her son showed while in hospital. She said on the Thursday, Caden was still screaming and seemed to be in a lot of pain. We were told the only reason for the delay was the lack of beds, and that was what we were waiting for, Ms. Bancroft's statement read. On the Friday evening, Ms. Bancroft said Caden still would not settle. Sensing something was wrong, the mum called the nurses to check on her son. She noticed he was pale and that his lips had started to turn blue. Caden then went into cardiac arrest. Doctors and nurses resuscitated Caden for just under half an hour while his distraught mother looked on. I called my mum in hysterics and then went back into the room. I dropped to the floor and had to be taken out again. Caden regained a pulse and was rushed to theatre for his operation. He was taken to the intensive care unit but sadly never regained consciousness. After the operation the surgeon came back into the room and said as a hospital they had failed my little boy, Ms. Bancroft added. My mother asked them if Caden would be disabled, and their response was he was not going to make it. Ms. Bancroft made the heartbreaking decision to turn off her son's life support machine on Sunday, April 17, 2016. The little boy died surrounded by his family with his grandmother reading Mr. Man's stories to him. A pathology report accepted as evidence in court concluded Caden had died of natural causes linked to acute inflammation of the pericardial sac, peritonitis, and stomach perforation. The court heard coroner Angara Davies question who was responsible at the hospital for booking beds on the high dependency unit ahead of surgery. Mr. Muhammad Shaukri, a Lockham consultant surgeon who treated Caden that week, said he had not been aware of the hospital's policy on making beds available. Mr. Shaukri first saw Caden on the Tuesday and had offered to carry out Caden's surgery if there was a cancellation on his elective list on the Thursday.